Welcome back. The objectives of this video is to simply review what we've studied in the past about linear equations. So here's a quick summary of linear equations similar to what you will see in our textbook. Um, standard form here, uh, they use the ax plus by plus c equals zero. Uh, you may remember from our previous studies we use ax plus by equal c, so we don't set it equal to zero, we set the, the equation equal to that constant. Okay, but remember that a, b, and c must be integers. Okay, so no fractions here in this format. And a has to be positive. So our coefficient on x has to be positive. So also in this format, a couple of notes that are helpful. Slope, we know slope is, is m. We write that as m quite a bit. Slope is the opposite of a over b if we're in standard form. And our y-intercept is the ordered pair 0, c over b. And remember, we always want that y-intercept written as an ordered pair with that x-coordinate equal to 0. The equation of a vertical line, okay, so a vertical line, x equals a, x is always something, these two a's here are not the same, okay, the a in standard form or general form and the a here are not the same, so don't, uh, don't get that mixed up, and y is equal to some number b, okay, so a horizontal line is going to be y equals something. y is always some value no matter what x is and a, her, a vertical line is x is always equal to something. And then we have slope intercept form, the form that's near and dear to our hearts. That's the one you probably learned in grade school. y equals mx plus b where the lowercase m is the slope and the y intercept is, is b but of course you'll write that as 0b. And then point-slope form, we'll use this quite a bit for writing equations of lines. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Uh, this generated from two ordered pairs, uh, xy and x1, y1. Okay. It's also our, our slope just rewritten in a different form, right? Slope is change in y over change in x or y minus y1 over x minus x1, okay? So if we multiply both sides by the denominator here, we get our point slope form, okay? So slope, I've already given you slope here. If we have two ordered pairs, slope is just uh, the change in y over the change in x, okay? Or rise over run. When we're rising, we're going up and down the y-axis. So that's our change in y. How much did y change? And our run, we run vertically. So that's our change in x. Or as I just showed you a minute ago, uh, y minus y1 over x minus x1. Those are all equivalent to our slope. And then parallel lines versus per perpendicular lines, right? Parallel lines, the slope of one line is equal to the slope of the other as long as we have differing y-intercepts, okay? And then perpendicular lines, we have opposite reciprocal slopes, okay? So if we are in standard form or general form, if slope is the opposite of a over b, the slope of the perpendicular would be just b over a. Opposite reciprocal means we change the sign, and the reciprocal means we flip the fraction. So both of those things have to occur to have perpendicular lines. Another good way to memorize that is the product of the slopes of perpendicular lines is equal to negative 1. Okay? 
So if we have a slope of 2 thirds and a slope of negative 3 halves, if we multiply those together, sure enough, that equals negative 1. The slopes of those two lines are perpendicular. So a quick review of linear equations, and you'll expect to be expected to apply those when we see you in class.